As pandemic restrictions ease, more and more Chicago treasures reopen. Including the Chicago Architecture Center, Marcella Raymond shows us the new exhibits. Chicago, Chicago, I will show you around. We didn't need Frank Sinatra to put us on the map. For hundreds of years, Chicago has been the leader in architecture around the world. Awesome on so many levels. There are new exhibits to welcome you back. The skyscraper exhibit combines iconic buildings shown in white with temporary exhibits inside glass, including this yet to be built South Loop high rise by famed architect Helmut Jahn, who passed away last week. He was very influential and often controversial. He was one of the first um, architects who got the name Starkitect um, because he was kind of flamboyant and he was just a big personality. This exhibit shows how homes changed over the years according to residents' needs. If you're from Chicago, you've probably lived in a two flat or a bungalow. Now the city's needs are moving towards multi-generational housing. If we learned anything during COVID, it's how important family is. We're dealing with forces that make it challenging for some people to stay in the neighborhoods that they've lived in for their entire lives. So we're looking to find ways to keep people uh, in place so that they can get older uh, in the communities with the people that they know and love and have their children come back. This office building was designed pre-COVID, so the architects shifted gears to make it more clean for a post-pandemic world. Step outside the Chicago Architecture Center and onto the river or the sidewalk for special tours about the city's architectural wonders. There's a new walking tour the CAC is particularly excited about. This one is in Austin. It is a fabulous tour. It starts in the middle of a wonderful residential area and ends at a goat farm. A working goat a farm? working goat farm. <laughs> now that sounds like a tour. In Streeterville, Marcella Raymond, WGN News.